Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a show that's late at night, Creative Edition, with me, your host, Linnell Ingram. I'm Paint Fumes. Happy to have you back. We have some fun things to talk about and some things that are just the same. It's still COVID-19 pandemic out there. So live theater, live music, gallery openings, museum exhibits, so many things still aren't happening and won't be for the foreseeable future. And it's really hurting artists. There's no question about that. The creators and talent of all sorts. Um, there is still music being made. There are still movies being released. There's still art being made, books being written. So it's a very unique time for us to live in, to consume media, to try to create media, all of the above. It's just an almost unprecedented time. Um, but we're getting through it together. Yeah, teamwork. So, as you might be able to tell, October is my favorite month of the year. I love Halloween so much. Just adore Halloween. I love horror movies. I love everything that goes with it. The fall weather, it's just brilliant. Most major motion pictures are being pushed off on release, and then some, they're still dilly-dallying about whether or not they're going to be released VOD, straight to the internet for streaming, whether they're going to try it for the theater, or they're just going to wait it out so that they can make their money. It is what it is. But uh, I am personally starting to watch Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix, which I'm so grateful to have something new and scary to watch, even though I love my old school B-horror too and classic horror. Um, so yeah, I'm, at least some things are happening, some things are there to still enjoy. I really loved The Haunting of Hill House last year. Was it last year or was it two years ago? God, I don't remember. Well, whatever. It was great. Hopefully this will be as good. Hopefully you're watching something scary this month too, because come on, <laughs> it's the fall. So in art news, I want to start talking about something very highbrow. Hit it. So brand new video released from Elvira uh, about don't cancel Halloween. We can all relate. I think there's actually going to be trick or treating here. We'll see what happens. But yes, it is a different year and that was outstanding. I'll have the link below, hopefully tagged above as well. So you can check it out if you want to see it in its entirety. It's pretty good stuff. Now you guys might remember from, I think a couple years back now, the Monkey Jesus restoration snafu, where a local woman decided to take her hand and try to restore a piece of 1930s artwork, and it went horribly wrong. We've got another one to add to that list. The 7th, a 17th century painting called The Immaculate Conception of Lost Venerables, has just gone through a similar process, unfortunately this time by a company that actually claimed to do restorations apparently, and oh man. Have y'all ever heard of something, a little thing, called the Dunning-Kruger effect? I love to talk about the Dunning-Kruger effect. I'm gonna throw a chart up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it is uh, the idea that the less somebody knows about something, the easier they think it is, and I'm sure many people who work in creative industry have experienced this, especially if you've been hired to do any work. Uh, it's great and uh, we all love it because everybody's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, this new artwork disfigurement is actually bringing about um, some possible regulations in the future about uh, how restoring artwork will go. So we'll see, maybe we'll run out of these things to show and laugh at and enjoy. The first time I saw the Monkey Christ restoration work, oh, just, just as an artist alone, it 
hurts, man. It hurts. <laughs> We've all heard about the K-shaped, K-shaped recovery. I don't know. Yes. Anyway, rich are getting richer. Everyone else is getting poorer. As things have been going for a while, the whole pandemic situation is just kind of increasing this and the recovery is not helping either. So these people who are doing well off apparently don't know what to do with their money. So the notorious B.I.G. in his last ever photo shoot was wearing this plastic crown. You may have seen the photo. If you were alive during this time period, whether you were a big rap fan or not, it's just permeated pop culture. That crown last month sold for nearly $600,000. A plastic crown, folks. Hey, I wouldn't spend $600,000 on a house, but that's me. I mean, I guess we all have our priorities or we don't. And last of all, I would like to show a little bit of artist activism that's happening right now. A fun installation that happened in the month of September to bring awareness to wearing masks in this time of the pandemic and the idea of physical closeness or distancing and the dichotomy of those. A nude live installation occurred where folks dressed in nothing but their masks and posed. There were around 220 volunteers showed up to take part in this installation. Um, they were all temperature checked beforehand. This is all happened in a North London park. This was pulled together by American born artist Spencer Tunick, who has done several other similar types of installations all over the globe. And this was meant to draw attention to in this time, the desire for connectivity and physical connection. The photos are really striking and uh, amazing. Probably was really something to see in person or to even be a part of. And it's really something this day and age where nudity is still so taboo in our culture. It's just the human body, folks. You get over ourselves. Go take a live figure drawing class. You'll get over it real quick. And learn something in the meantime. <gasps> I'd like to make a little call out going back to what I mentioned at the beginning with so many arts being shut down and, and uh, creators being affected by COVID. And, and that's just to say, if you can support artists, support creators of all types, whoever makes things that are meaningful to you. And that could be if it's a regard to a money support, you could send money to somebody's Patreon, their Ko-fi accounts, buy their merchandise or their products and support them that way. And if you don't have money, because I know a lot of us are hurting right now, share their work, share what they do, expose your friends and peers to it, just online and social media and exposing new people to what the people you love are doing is very valuable to them as well. And I know they will appreciate it no matter what medium they work in. So yes, please support arts out there they will thank you and be able to sustain through all of this chaos, hopefully, and come out the other side, still making the things and doing the things that you love. Of course, some might just, as uh, the government of the UK has suggested, just quit entirely and go into cyber. On the flip side, I just read today that San Francisco I believe it's San Francisco. The San Francisco is going to be instituting in the beginning of 2021, a universal basic income to help support certain creators. I'm not sure how that works. I suppose they have to apply for a limited amount of spots, but I love that, you know, support the arts because without creators and artists, life is just work. Like, what is there? There's all the things that bring joy to us, that fill our free time, that our escapism, everything. What is life without that? It would be a sad, sad world. So that about covers it for the newest news that was interesting for the last month and what's coming up. I hope that if you have anything that you know of that you'd love to see covered in an episode of the show that's late at night, 
send it to me. DM me, comment me, email me, whatever. Let me know what you think you'd like to hear about or talked about here. I'd love that. All right, if you find this interesting, if you enjoy the stuff that I'm sharing with you, please share this video. Let people know to watch about once a month for now. I'll be releasing new videos telling you what's happening in the world that strikes a chord of interest related to the arts. And we're gonna keep going. If this gets some momentum, maybe we'll do a couple times a month. Who knows where this can go, but I really love it. If you would uh, support me, hit the subscribe, the like, whatever if you find this enjoyable and i love you guys i'll see you next time stay sane and make things good night everybody